Good evening and thanks for joining us. Several companies continue to work on a COVID-19 vaccine, but individual states have been asked to come up with a plan of distribution. How, when and where to get the vaccine to their residents. News 10 Sarah Lehman is live in our newsroom. She looked through Indiana's plan today. In your top story tonight, she has more on what you need to know. Patrice, this is the drafted plan the Indiana Department of Health put out on Tuesday. Now, it's 75 pages long, so it's pretty detailed, and it outlines just what they'll do when a vaccine for COVID-19 is approved. Around the world, scientists and health leaders are working hard to come up with a vaccine for COVID-19. Indiana has released a three-phase plan when it comes to distribution of the vaccine. It's to make sure the state is ready when a vaccine is approved. We know that a widely available vaccine, though, is months away. The latest we've heard is that limited supplies might be available by the end of the year. The Indiana Department of Health says they know when a vaccine is approved, it will be limited. So the first phase will provide vaccines to Hoosiers in healthcare settings where they could be exposed and those who are at high risk if they were to get the virus. The second phase would give the vaccine to those in the essential workers group and even those who may live with an essential worker. Also, people in correctional facilities, group homes, and shelters. Finally, phase three would be a distribution of the vaccine to the general public. Indiana health leaders continue to urge Hoosiers to keep up good practices. While the vaccine will be rolled out slowly, there are more immediate steps people can take to reduce the spread of COVID-19. You've all heard us talk repeat, repeatedly about the importance of wearing a mask and practicing social distancing, but we also need Hoosiers to participate in contact tracing. Now, again, that plan is just a draft, so it is subject to change. State health officials say the CDC will look at their draft and then help them moving forward. For now, reporting live in the newsroom, I'm Sarah Lehman, News 10. Back to you.